afternoon, everybody. It's currently 2.30 p.m. And I'm gonna be having breakfast before I go hit a push day with Jamal. This is what I'm gonna have for breakfast today. It's canned chicken from Costco and a bag of jasmine rice. It's not really much cooking involved here other than me doing that. Pouring all that chicken juice down the drain. Clean the can before you put it in the trash can so it doesn't smell. I don't know if you guys have ever made a, a bag of 90 second rice, but it's fairly easy. You just break it up, you open it a little bit, and put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. So a lot of y'all think that you gotta be super extremely meticulous about how you eat to make progress in the gym. Really, this is what I'm doing. That can of chicken has like, what, like 45 grams of protein, and that bag of rice has probably like eight. I know that those proteins are not created equally, but 50, 50 plus grams of protein in this super easy breakfast, pretty easy. And it's low fat. I think that chicken has under, under 10 grams of fat for the whole can. I can tell you right now. So this whole thing has 3.5 grams of fat, 30, 44 grams of protein. So 3.5 grams of fat, 44 grams of protein. That's, that's pretty good. Ew, it smells disgusting. <laughs> you know that Spongebob sound like a... Good morning. Good morning. It's two o'clock. It's like 2.30. And to season this up, I put in some mustard because mustard is zero calories. And then this sweet heat barbecue sauce. It's 50 calories a serving. I probably use like half a serving. Rose, the picture of health. I know. And then just a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Then you mix it up like so. Fast forward. You fucking donkey. This rule. Are you always this pathetic? That's what it looks like. Let me give you a taste test. Seven out of 10, which is good enough for me. So I'm gonna finish this, wait 15 minutes, take some pre, hopefully Jamal's ready by then too. And then we're gonna go hit push day. So see y'all there. Oh, just letting y'all know before I go, I did get hurt in the last video I made. You know, I went to American Ninja Warrior place with Patricia and I was on the rings and I like extended my foot to get on the next ring and I felt something in my hip pop because the ring like went away from me as I pushed down on it. So I haven't deadlifted in like two weeks, but we're hanging in there. Here he is. Hi, my name is Jamal TDR. Um, <laughs> I just recently competed in my first bodybuilding competition. Um, we did decent. He got four trophies. And a ring. And a ring. Yeah. He also gained 30 pounds in like less than two days after his comp. No, 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 it's because I didn't reverse diet yet, but I'm also doing an experiment for social media. So I'm gonna be like, this is what happens when you don't reverse diet. Yeah, yeah. Experiment. Take your shirt off. I'm not taking my shirt off. <laughs> Damn, that boy was ready. Damn, take trap. I'm gonna head in first, because I gotta take a pre-workout, yeah, that, so. Yeah, I'm gonna head in before him and go to the VIP shitter. Perks of being an athlete, athlete, co TDR. I like pooping where the common people poop because remember, I'm just like you guys. You know, I'm not any different. I poop where you poop. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a classic physique competitor and uh, going to pro powerlifting meet, so I think yeah. I, I deserve a little bit above he, the average. He's in a different class than you guys. He can't relate <laughs> to you guys. I can, though. You know, I still gotta wipe the seat, I got an eagle's nest my toilet seats when I need to use I just spent six years in the military shitting off of a shovel in the sand in a bag. I think I deserve to enjoy my poops to be nice nowadays. That's fair. That's pretty fair. I served my country so you can poop in a commoner pooper. Which country? This country. Oh. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> Bro wants to go outside. Yeah. Extra hot out there. It's humid. Gonna start off with some sort of incline fly. Machine yeah. or cable? 
I like cable. If the one I want, we're gonna use the seated one with the cables. But if that one's busy, we can use the machine too. Do you always do some sort of cable fly before pressing movements to like pre-exhaust? Uh, so when it comes to uh, bodybuilding, it's better to pre-exhaust before moving to a heavy compound. That way you're actually like fully fatiguing the muscle and tearing it apart. So I can't hear what he's saying, but I know you guys can. My goal is to fully exhaust the muscle at the beginning and have a full stretch and like completely stretch the muscle before we even go in to start pumping blood. Like, but I, I like the cables so we can fully stretch, get the full stretch in it and then press through. And then at the end, towards the end of our exercise, we'll go into like a little bit of pressing motion at the end. Okay. And then we'll move into another chest exercise. There you go. For it. Focus on the stretch though, slower. I, I, I can't get a stretch on this. I bend my arms a little. So bend them? I bend them just a tad. Okay. It's like 45 and I come here. Okay. Instead of just here. All right, I'll try. But that. we can get a, a roller. I think he's gonna get something to put on the seat so that we can be seated more like forward to get more of a stretch. Cause right now I feel like I'm stopping like right here. I'm not even getting like even 70% of a contraction. is a combination of oxygen, water, and sodium. Potassium helps, but potassium actually helps pull sodium out of the water, out of the cells. And when you, the reason why you potassium, because if you have too much salt in your cells, you won't get a pump. We're going in the corner. Oh, I think, is Olivia about to go? Yeah. She is? Okay. Yes, Olivia's about to go. She's gonna hit a lot of weight for two. Get tight. Easy. It's a PR. Chest up. Up, up, Chest up, 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 up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's a, that's Are a you big fucking big. 375? Yeah. Man, what the fuck? This is actually an exercise that can be both used for, some people say it's used for lats, but if you actually look at the, how the muscle works. Oh, is this the one that I taught you? What are we doing, Chris? Well, I wanna see if you understood what Where's I explained to you. So you're gonna ask him what it's called. It's called a pullover. And what it does is you basically pull it over your chest. Yeah. <laughs> so we're doing the chest push through. Chris, what is this? A chest push through. That's what we're doing. exercises yeah yeah so four exercises and the main reason why you only want to do like a very little amount but like two heavy sets to failure as you can see none of us none of the sets we did were like 
and you're supposed to really think about towards the end. We want to do that because you want to do this whole mechanical volume max. If she wants to be the max, I don't know if she wants to work I mean, not for people who are getting the 15 names, but you can make sure that 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 well, thanks for the workout. Today, yeah, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna hit triceps now. So I mean, the video's not over, but Jamal's he's gonna be out of here. Yeah. What? Jamal's leaving. Yeah, Jamal's leaving. Goodbye, Jamal. All right, now time for triceps. Oh damn, we forgot the mic. All right, I'm bringing back Jamal. Can I go now? All right, can I get the mic? Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, see you later. All right, I got the mic. It's like I can still hear him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Code Week guy for Young LA for a huge uh, merch coming soon. If you don't buy the merch, I'm going to go broke, so please. Unfortunately, the Young LA tanks are out of stock right now. So, like, they're out of stock completely. So, I can't even get them anymore. When I ordered them, I ordered a, a large, and large do not fit me at all. I need XL. Even the XL is tight. I would like a double XL, but they don't have them right now. So, this is Fruit of the Loom from Target. It's the OG. Yeah. <laughs> All right, time for triceps. All right. All right, so Jamal left, now it's just me. I'm gonna just be hitting probably like three tricep exercises. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do tricep rope push downs. And I could probably end with some like close grip type bench exercise, maybe with dumbbells, maybe even with the barbell bench. But uh, something really important about this machine that I learned recently is that when you press up, you don't want to be going forward because then you're going to be involving your front delt. You just want to go straight up, straight up. So not like this. If you have one of these in your gym, you want to go straight up. Yeah, so I'm going to just be hitting four sets of 10 to 12. Well, I'm just finishing up. I'm just uh, doing like tricep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you giving it the mic? What am I mic'd up for? I'm yeah. about to go lift. This is the last thing I'm doing, just like some uh, close grip burnouts. I've already done two sets. I'm just going to do two more. But if you just want to get these. What a great teacher, man. I'm going to do like 12. Look at Chris, man. What's a close grip? That's not close grip. Yeah, that's not close grip, but. Am I supposed to bench that low? Yes, yes, yes. This is supposed to be close grip. <laughs> that didn't, that didn't look like why close grip. Me bench 135. That didn't look like close grip, bro. That didn't look like close grip. I don't got T-Rex arms like you, See, bro. I knew he was going to try to roast me. Did you see how he ready up? Why is he, he like drinking <laughs> piss? <laughs> oh, it's Joel of mine, isn't it? Oh, Couldn't be huge. <laughs> Code week guy, code week guy, code week guy. Right, one more set. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna let Solomon, I'm gonna let Solomon give the outro for this one. Inspirational quote. Inspirational quote. Just be yourself, guys, and have an amazing day. Goodbye. Okay, beautiful. That was good. That was good. That was good.